I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand geometric distribution for weighting and we are going to prove that the expected value in this distribution is P over Q where P is the probability of success and Q is 1 minus P the probability of failure. Now when I say geometric distribution for weighting it really means that if I get success after X terms of weighting let me say like we have a failure, 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 x times. So we have x times failure and then a success. So we are calling this as, so these are x times failure. So x failures followed by a success. So that is what we are looking for. So we, that is the distribution which we are looking for. This is geometric in nature. So here, if we have x failures and then a success, and if p is the probability of success, then probability of failure is equals to q, which is 1 minus p, right? Now, if there are independent events, in all these cases, we are taking Bernoulli trials. So all are independent events, which have only two outcomes success or failure and the probability remains same correct so in this case since they are independent events their probabilities can be multiplied and therefore we can say that the probability for this geometric series is equals to number of failures are x so q to the power of x times one success p okay so that is clear so in this, when we are trying to find geometric distribution for weighting, it is important to note that x is the number of failures and not the total number of trials. Well, the total number of trials is x plus 1. Okay, The last one, which is a success, comes after x failures. So our concentration is more on this number, x failures, when we are talking about weighting. Right? Now, what is the expectancy here? So that is going to be x times the probability so it is sum of all these probability times x where x is from 0 to infinity because there could be no failure we can get success in the very first trial also so what i'm trying to say here is that the x could take values from 0 to infinity right so so we could have a case where we start with a success, right? So there are no failures. So here, uh, x equals to 0, no failures. Or we could have failure and a success. That means x is equals to 1, right? So likewise, we could go like this. That is what I'm trying to say. And we'll figure out what is the expectancy, or we also call this as mu, the mean value for the failures so that is what the question is so let's try to calculate this out so if i expand this putting x equals to zero here the first term will be zero so what we get is zero plus when i write x equals to one i get q this is one times p plus when x is two then it is two q square p when x is 3, it is 3 cube, cube p plus 4, q to the power of 4p, and so on. This is infinite series since, uh, well, we can go on and on with all the failures and no success, right? So, it could go infinitely long. Now, so we have mu as equals to all this. Now, we can take qp common so you get 1 plus 2 q plus 3 q square plus 4 q plus so on right if i multiply by q on both the sides then i get q times mu equals to qp let me multiply inside so it'll be q plus 2q square plus 3q cube plus 4q to the power of 4 and so on. Now if I do the previous equation minus this equation, what do I get? 
I get 1 minus q mu, right, the mean. And you will notice that if I take away this equation from the one which we have here, then 2q minus q will be 1q, 3q square minus 2q square will be q square, 4q cube minus 3q will be q cube, right? So what do we get here? We get qp times 1 and then plus q plus q square plus q cube and so on, right? Now this is a geometric series, right? This is a geometric series. So we know geometric infinite series. Where Q is less than one. So absolute value of Q is less than one, right? It is always sum of P and Q is one. So the value will always be less than one. Now, in that case, the sum of geometric series is what? It is A over 1 minus R, where A is the first term and R is the ratio in which it gets multiplied, right? So in our case, R is equals to Q, right? So we can write the series sum as QP times, first term is 1, so 1 divided by 1 minus R, R is Q for us, R equals to Q for us. 1 minus q. Correct. Now 1 minus q is equals to p. So we could write this as p mu equals to this. And uh, now you can simplify this. p and p cancels. So we can write mu equals to q over 1 minus q which is p is it okay so this is 1 minus q is p so mu the mean or expectancy here is q over q over p right so i'm sorry uh this would be q over p okay so so the expected value is q over p as we have proven here it is important to note that in this geometric distribution x is the number of failures. Now we'll take geometric distribution for successes also, which is going to be slightly different because we'll treat this as x plus one terms, not x terms, right? So when we talk about geometric distribution for success, we are saying in which term or you know how many trials do we get a success? So there's slight difference in the two formulas, which I think all students should make a note of. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.